Hello everyone and we are back with the Gristlebrand deck just like Gristlebrand is back from the graveyard with Agorio's Vengeance. So if you haven't seen this deck yet check out some of my earlier videos on the channel. I've been doing a lot of iterating with this deck since Modern Horizons 3 came out and I think it's in a pretty good place now as far as the list. Now I think the meta was turning a little bit hostile to it a couple weeks ago or so there was more surgical extraction going around Coslex command can definitely be a little bit rough but with things consolidating around energy a little bit more and i feel like i'm seeing less surgical extractions i think it might be time to bring it back so a couple of small changes from the last time i played this so besage you into the main deck as a way to free up a sideboard slot over the fifth fetch. I didn't feel like I needed the fifth fetch that much and I was boarding it out a lot. Ulamog is an interesting reanimation target. I can stick that in the graveyard alongside Grizzlebrand with a Buried Alive. And then if our opponent exiles our Grizzlebrands with say a Surgical Extraction, instead we can bring back, back the Ulamog and hit them for a whole bunch of damage as well as Annihilator 8. So definitely something we can do there. Thought Seizes, I'm going to be bringing these in against the Eldrazi decks as a means of fighting through Kozlux Command. I'll also bring in probably at least a couple packed there um, to stop that as well. So that's the list. This is, uh, this is what we're playing. Let's get into a league. And uh, actually, wait, before I do that, I did want to talk briefly about the upcoming card from... Um, Duskmorn, uh, Demonic, uh, is it Demonic, not Demonic Consultation. It's the new card from Duskmorn. It's one in a black. It searches for a demon, or if you have Delirium, it searches for any card. I think this card is pretty good in this deck. Really, actually, I think this is maybe the best deck for it. So we can search up a Gristlebrand and then discard it to Cookbook or whatever. Or if we already have Delirium, then we can search for a Gorio's Vengeance and bring back Gristlebrand. So it's either half of our combo for pretty much close to free. Now, I think it will require a little bit of restructuring as far as how the deck is set up. I think we may end up cutting Grizzly Salvages. Honestly, we may end up even cutting Buried Alive and more so rely on discarding Grizzlebrand from hand if we have more reliable ways to put the Grizzlebrand into our hand. But... We'll be brewing with that when Duskmorn comes out, but until then, let's uh, you know, let's let's give this version sort of one final send off, and um, you know, next time next time I play this, it'll probably be with the uh, with the new card. All right, let's get into round number one. Okay, so we have a seven here that seems pretty good. I'm going to keep this. We have the ability to go turn one forest sprawl naming black. Turn two, Buried Alive. Turn three, Gorios, and a Haywire Might to mess with our opponent if we need to along the way. We are on the draw, so you know we do have to give our opponent three turns, but that might be okay. Opponent is uh, opening on Dark Slick Shores Preordain, so they could be Mill. Mill would be not great because Mill does play Surgical Extraction in the main deck. But if they do not have their Surgical Extraction in hand, then we stand a decent chance of just reanimating with the Gorios as soon as they mill a Gristlebrand. So that could be good. Burning Catacombs, I think I'm still just going to play the Sprawl and in black, pass. Let's see what they've got. Now, the other good thing about this matchup is we do have Endurance, but if they have... Oh, Psychic Frog. Okay, so it's Murktide. Or whatever it is. Uh, Frogtide. So we go to our turn. Our upkeep. What are they doing? So far, nothing, but... Who knows Frogtide was playing Dark Slick? I guess it could be Mill with Frog, but that seems not that likely. Could have also been ad nauseum just off of Dark Slick Prairie Day, and I don't think that's particularly likely either. We're definitely going to be taking the opportunity to resolve the Buried Alive here. And I'll go get the Basic Swamp.
Grizzlebrand. I need. Uh, maybe I'll put a second Grizzlebrand. Honestly, I'll put all three Grizzlebrands in. They're not going to have them in the main deck. And uh, the Haywire Might is already in my hand. So I have Land Sorcery Creature. If the Gorios gets countered, then that will put an instant in. And then I can bring it back with Shifting Woodland the next turn. So I'm relatively okay with that. You get to potentially hit us for like a big chunk of damage. They're discarding a Murktide. And then they draw a card. Delta. Go to our turn. And play a Shifting Woodland. And we can potentially just try to overload their counter magic here if we Gorios. And then they counter, and then we Gorios again. So I like that, because then we'll be able to get the life from the Grizzlebrand on the attack. And I think probably they're not going to be able to stop both. I mean, maybe they have, like, Spell Snare plus a 2-mana counter. In which case, we get to Shifting Woodland next turn. Because they do have a Spell Snare. In that case, I think I'm going to pass, then. And I assume they're going to fetch on the end step, and when they fetch, I will Oreos in response. And we'll try and kill them here. We do have Shoal Turn Timber, so that's good. Throw more. I guess they could have had a Bowmasters that they were going to put in play. Well, Exile Worm, they have, I mean, if they had Force, they would have used it, I think. We'll draw more. We're going to Soul Spike them out, is how this is going to go. Draw again. Shoal Pitch Worm. Get rid of a Gorios and a Buried Alive, since they already saw a Buried Alive. Spike them again. Get rid of a Grizzlebrand and a Buried Alive. We have Endurance in hand already, which is good. I mean, they could have a... I don't think they play main deck subtlety, so I think I'm not super concerned about that. Um... Draw seven more down to four cards in let in deck. And then we have oh we have the other endurance as well, which is excellent. Spike them, I'll get rid of a buried alive and we'll show them a grizzly salvage. So we're gonna need to show them something here. Get rid of two more grizzly salvage. We're going to Endurance, pitching a Sprawl, given that that's a card that they already know about. Shuffle. Oak happens. It does technically lower our probability of drawing some of the life gain, but in case we need to loop another time, I think it usually is useful to shuffle the Endurance back, especially given how much life we have. We take the lead 1-0 against Frogtide. All right, so what do we want against them? Uh, we want Pact of Negation. We could think about Vexing Bauble, but I think it's not really what we need. Spell Bomb, similarly, I mean, yes, we could potentially shut down a Murktide, but I don't really think it's what we need. I'll cut a Zurin Orb. Could think about Thought Seizes coming in. The problem with Thought Seas is they do just get to like continue to hold up their counter. I'm gonna trim a Sprawl, trim a Buried Alive. Buried Alive is gonna be less likely to resolve, especially on the draw. Although if we have Sprawl, it is more likely to, but still. And maybe we bring in another Haywire. There's a decent chance they have like some Nihil Spell Bombs, stuff like that. We even bring in a Basaju over maybe a Verdant. Trim like one 
maybe we trim like one more sprawl and one more buried alive and then we go like this we try and rely on the two two mana mill things and we have packed for surgical if we need it oh you know what i just realized our sideboard didn't have the ulamog in it i maybe i registered for this league before i played the version with the ulamog Ah, oh, that's a little bit of a mistake. I, I switched that last second, and I, I think I already clicked into the league before I recorded the intro. But I would be playing the Ulamog if I had it in my deck. All right, we're going to keep this. We'll go for a Surveil on one, Rumble on two. Shifting Woodland is our sort of preferred reanimation spell. Our opponent did see that we do have the capability of winning on or at instant speed, so they're going to be a little bit more reluctant to tap out, I would imagine. Result in hand is not ideal, but could be worse. Not really sure why they're tanking on our upkeep. Okay, burn it, and then we're going to pass. I want to go for the Surveil land, so I, I don't see the need to play this Haywire Might yet. Back, get their clue. Uh, whoops, I did not mean to do that. Draw. Hit a Rumble. I think here I'm going to just play the Might and then go for the Surveil while they haven't tapped down. So I want to play the rumble when they are more tapped down. So, so far if they crack this clue, they've played three mana cycling. But now it could start to accrue advantage. We have another clue. Do they play like a frog or something like that? Let's see, I suppose. The rooting, okay. I think they likely have a two mana counter they're holding up. Shocking it in. They're cracking the clue now, so they want to flip the Tamiyo. Surveil, Mortuary. I will take a Buried Alive. That's something that they're going to have to force a negation. Unless they have Surgical, I mean, they could definitely get us with Surgical. So I'm going to put Grizzlebrand, Grizzlebrand, Haywire Might, so we have four card types for Delirium. We have land, creature, artifact, and sorcery. I'm not going to bother to attack because um, the Tomio plus, so the Haywire might have zero power. Do you just get to go for Shifting Woodlands next turn? The question is, are we going to do it on our turn? Do we want to wait and do something on their turn? I think if they had the surgical, they should have just used it there. Like, might as well get the Grizzle Browns gone when you know I can't do anything about it. It could have, like, a Nile Spell Bomb or something. That would be not great. This Tamiyo being flipped does mean that we're under a little bit of pressure to, like, do something. We don't want to let it alt. So we need to make something happen before it does. If they just pass, I'll probably Shifting Woodland on their upkeep, but I don't know for sure yet. Oh, 
I'm not sure what they're thinking about so much here. Like, if they have a way to nuke the graveyard, you just do it. Going down to 15. Like a frog? Like a doubty, right? Interesting. So the Bristlebrand is already in our hand. Which means. If I go now, they do potentially have a counter spell for like, so they could, well, they could counter one of our, they could counter one of our soul spikes, and then we wouldn't kill them. However, we do have four packed in our deck, so we could probably force something through with the packs. I think it does make sense to go now. Yeah, I think it does make sense to go now. They had Surgical, I think they would have used it. Although maybe they're just waiting to blow me out here, but that's a little bit risky from them. Like, what if I had double Gorios instead? If I wait, then this Douthy can activate, and then they can potentially gain life with, like, a Soul Spike, and then I'm in worse shape. I can't actually kill this Douthy. I think it's just the situation means that I have to go now. I assume they're going to try and counter one of my soul spikes. They have Bowmasters, that's fine. If they shoot this Haywire Might, I'm honestly happy about it. Or they don't. Alright, so now we're going to draw. So we can win at instant speed. We have a shoal already in hand. Basically, the only way we lose this is if one of our spikes is in the bottom, uh, bottom three cards. Other than that, we should get there. We could also spike the Douthy, and that might be. We would lose a spike, but then we gain access to our yard. We're thinking about. First, I'll see what the, the next uh, draw seven is. Stacking their triggers. We do have a pact, so we have force and negation on lockdown. Well, I mean, they could have double force, but... No fear of Bowmasters. Pick up another pact, which is nice. I think I'm okay burning at least one shoal here before deciding what to do with the Douthy. Feels like they do have force and they're, uh, they're thinking about whether or not they want to try and use it here. Because if that happens, they have one shoal in hand, two shoal, three shoal. There's soul. Soul spike, not nourishing shoal. They draw another seven. Only is Bowmaster triggers the board. Remember that there is a Douthy in play. Hit another Shoal. Is that okay? So, get rid of a green card. Do we have another Worm? No, we don't. So it's going to have to be the Turn Timber. I'll get rid of that into the the Douthy still as well. Draw another seven. And it's stacking yet more triggers. And we do pick up the fourth soul spike here. So I'll shoal a worm. Soul spike. 
our opponent, getting rid of Buried Alive, Grizzly Salvage. Soul Spike them again. Oreos and a Grizzly Salvage. We can Soul Spike them again. Oreos and a Grizzle Brand. And finally, we Soul Spike them one more time with a Grizzle Brand and a Grizzly Salvage. And we uh, we get a nice win over Frog Tide, two zero. Pretty uh, pretty easy match overall. All right, round number two. For our hand here in round number two, we do have Shoal Worm. We can't quite play a Buried Alive because we only have two mana, but you know we conceivably could resolve a Buried Alive. The problem here is we have no way to get a Grizzle Brand into play. No Gorios, no Shifting Woodland, and no way of finding either one. So I'm going to go ahead and mulligan this. This hand is... Ugh, this is bad. Um, I mean, if we mill exactly Grizzlebrand with a Mortuary, it could be pretty good. But other than that, this is essentially a two-card hand. I'm going to mulligan. This hand is better. I'm going to keep it. I'm going to send away the Cookbook and the Worm. Actually, no. I'm going to send away the Soul Spike and the Worm. And we can go like turn one, probably a Surveil Land, turn two, Rumble. We are on the draw, so our opponent is leading. They've got an Elegant Parlor. Only a Ruby Medallion. All right, so we need to be fast. That is not what I would call fast. I could lead on Saga Cookbook. Um, the problem is I probably need to get to Shifting Woodland. Yeah, I think I need to get to Shifting Woodland. So I'm going to play Catacombs Pass. Assume, if they got rid of a Mire, I assume it's going to be another, um, either a Ruby or a Rao. I expect to be dead next turn, honestly. Maybe should not have gotten Mortuary. I think I don't want to give them information that we're a Grave deck. I think I may actually keep this on top. We Saga. I mean, we can Rumble. If we Rumble, we give away what we are, potentially. I mean, what are the chances that we don't die next turn? Extraordinarily low. But Storm doesn't really play Grave Hate. I could play Cookbook. Cookbook is kind of useless, though. So if I rumble and hit, I think the odds are so low that we're both A, not dead, and B, find what we need to hit next turn. I'm going to just like play cookbook and then pass. I know this is not the optimal play from us winning. I think we're just basically dead at this point, though, and I think we're, we're playing this in order to mislead our opponent into what we're doing. If they don't actually have it in hand... We're going to see here. They hit. Get Wish and Artist's Talent. Interesting. Okay, I mean, that's fine. That's just like another discard card if you do draw a card. It's every cast a non creature. So, questing doesn't work for that. It could wish and lose. wish then they can't play anything off of it They're grape shotting us for two damage all right
So the wish is going to go away. They do get to loot here. Maybe they don't actually have anything in their hand. All right, two cards. What did they dump? They dumped a Tarn. They picked up a Utopia Sprawl. That's a little bit awkward. If we find a Haywire Might... Well, they still have two things, so that, that's not even good. I mean... So if we Rumble... We can all right. I think we have to rumble here. I think it's it's worth the shot given how few cards they have. I'll take a worm. We basically have to draw a. I guess a woodland would also work if we find either a woodland or a gorios off the top. Then we get there. We would also have shoal worm if they have like an inexact kill here. Or if they have like a like a tight kill as far as damage. The wish is is gone. Lagging a second? Deciding what to do, maybe. Look, we are lagging a little bit. But okay, so I mean we have one Gorio's gone, so seven seven cards in our deck so we are at a little better than one in seven to win assuming we live through the turn if we don't live through the turn and i guess we can go get a we could go get a haywire might blow up the artist's talent maybe do something with that cookbook not really doing so great right now a land would probably be the next best thing if we don't hit the um the reanimation. We disconnected. Hang on. I will be back in one second. I'm gonna just make sure everything's okay here. Okay, so we are back. I had to restart here. We lost some time, but that's okay. Our opponent has resolved a row. We have two cards in hand, so a lot of this is going to depend on what the rest of their hand is. The cards is not necessarily a lot to start with, and Strike It Rich is not necessarily that great either. I do get to loot here. Eventually get to loot again. They dump a Valkyrie Awakening. I have one card. Strike It Rich sent them down a card. They can loot it again, but unless they have like some sort of impulse effect. I'm not really sure what they're gonna do with this. Okay, they dump a wooded foothills, make another treasure. Do they have like an impulse? And they could play questing druid, I guess, but Okay, they do. And then they're passing, so we do get a shot. And then with the one card in hand, kind of like, okay, we drew a Saga, which is not ideal. We're going to get a, a Wire Might. We can play the Saga. We could also, yeah, we're going to have to sprawl on our Sanctuary. Name, Black, whatever. Saga. And discard a salvage and then gain three life off of it being a food. Which I'm going to actually do. And then I'm going to pass. And we're going to see what they have. I couldn't have used the Haywire Might that turn because I didn't have green mana. They have a Ren's Resolve, so it depends on what they hit here. Whatever they. Oh, they had one card in hand, and then one card that they drew for turn. Okay. 
Boss the flip. They do pump their questing druid. I can block if needed. They dump a Rao. They hit Strike it Rich and a Mire off of that. And again, they have one card. Fetching. Are flashing back the striker. Or no, they're casting it. Okay, so they've got a treasure. They could flash it back again and cycle their. Um, oh, they have a Ren's Resolve. Okay. They do get to loot, but then they have no cards in hand, and it's just whatever this runs resolve finds. Double Metamorphose, that's about the best thing they could possibly find. Okay, so it was stri Strike It Rich, Ren's Resolve, Ren's Resolve, Morphos, Morphos. That would be five spells for the Rao. So we need both of these to whiff, essentially. Which seems not that likely. So they're probably going to get it here. They do also get a loot, because they can use this Metamorphose, and if they don't like their card exactly, they get to loot it away. They loot away a Rao, so they're gonna have two cards here. Question is, what are, they, what are they? Hopefully, it's like land, land. That would be the best. Pyretic, they get a shot at flipping Rao here. They do know what we're doing because we've given it away, but I mean, they, they're on turn five and they haven't managed to goldfish us by turn five. The Rao misses. They have one card here. Oh, they have the flashback strike at Rich, so they do get another shot from this. miss. I loot away a Bloodstained Mire. One more? Is it, is it over? It would be over. They level up the Artist's Talent. And they're level 3 it. Okay. We have an interesting situation here in deciding how we block. So if we draw a Shifting Woodland, we want to, well, we, we can use it regardless. So this Eldrazi spawn basically is not doing very much for us. It does help us a little bit if we draw Malevolent Rumble, but even if, if so, we can use the Saga plus the Mortuary, and then it would make a spawn, so it doesn't really help. Whereas Haywire might, we might want to kill this Artist's Talent. So I'm going to block with the Eldrazi spawn, Mystic Druid, and I won't block the Rao. There is, again, there is a chance I want to blow up like the Artist's Talent. Okay, so we draw a Grizzlebrand. That's pretty terrible. I'm going to go for... What color is this? That's on black. So I'm going to go for the Grizzly Salvage here. Because I kind of want to hit the land. And ideally, if I, if I hit the Shifting Woodland, then I can at least use the Haywire Might and hope we live a turn. It's not ideal, but... We don't hit the land. That's terrible. Alright, well, I guess we're passing and we're hoping that they have nothing. We'll block the questing druid if we have to. Hopefully they just have like land land, but I think odds are we're gonna die here. I wish. That's gonna get passed in flames and that will be the game. The wish off the top was pretty good. Unless they drew the wish via like their looting and stuff last turn. Which they might have. I assume this is passed in flames. Alright, so both of us kind of stumbling a little bit. We do only have about 14 minutes left, so we do need to play quickly. Alright, Zern Orb, I think I'm not as interested in. 
Thoughtseize, I will take. Footsteps for speed. Bring in like another Haywire. Nile Spellbomb 2. And I don't think I need Pact really, although Silence, I do potentially need Pact. I can potentially just win in response to Silence though. I'll bring it. Oh no, but they're green? No, they're white. They're, they're Naya. Okay. Maybe like one Pact. What am I cutting? Oh, like Turn Timber. Maybe I don't need the Mites that much. I just want speed. Oh, like one Rumble. About one Endurance save on the edge. Maybe I don't need the Nile on the play. I might bring it back in on the draw. Good thing about Vexing in some situation like that too. I'm gonna cut, I'm actually gonna cut the Pact. Yeah, we're just gonna try to race on the play. Um, I mean, so we get to go get a, I'm gonna keep this. We get to turn one. We have the decision. Do we wanna play Saga? Do we wanna play Catacombs? Saga can get a cookbook, which guarantees us putting the Grizzlebrand into the yard. But if I play that on turn one, I can't necessarily um, get it back somehow. So basically what I'm doing, I'm gonna play the Verdant on one, Saga on two alongside Rumble. And basically I'm hoping for uh, them not killing me on three, although they could certainly kill me on two. We do have Soul Spike. We could Soul Spike a Rowl if we needed to. But basically, I'm hoping that my reanimation, re yeah, reanimation spell is shifting woodlands that I can find with this malevolent rumble and or grisly salvage. Thought seize, I will hmm. I don't want to have to keep Thought Seize, but I think I have to keep Thought Seize. Rowl, Abrade, Reckless Impulse. I'm going to take the Rowl. Abrade doesn't matter. Reckless Impulse. I mean, it matters a little bit, but it could just be a dud. I'd rather take like this sure thing that's like a helpful card for them. Hit Pass and Flames, Runs Resolve. They're not really going to be able to use the Pass and Flames next turn, so they'll just get the Runs Resolve. So that's pretty much okay. Just a reckless impulse that they have to, or they, the runs resolve that they have to use next turn. So here we can go for the rumble. We do hit a land. Play the catacombs. And now I'm going to pass. I have a strike it rich, okay. And it's it's land, and I guess runs resolve. Pass and flames will go away. Their one card in hand is a braid. They have a braid, and then they have a morphos and a mire for next turn. Again, not the best, but I mean they're yeah. If this pass and flames was going to their graveyard, I'd be a lot more scared. But as is, I'm not that scared. So I'll play a tune tapped. Utopia Sprawl. I'm not going to. I'm going to get a cookbook. Play a sprawl on the mortuary. In black. I can then. Discard a Grizzle Brand. Essentially, end step a Grizzly Salvage. Or I can just wait. And I'm going to discard the Grizzle Brand kind of no matter what. I think I'll just pass. And then we're looking for Shifting Wood. They can play Mire, play Morphos. Maybe they can string something together, but it's not that likely.
Again, we if we had to, we could pitch the Grizzly Salvage to a Soul Spike on the Rao. Post good. I can I can back strike it rich. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so I'm gonna I'm going to what's that that's on black. All right, so I'm gonna Grizzly Salvage first. I'm gonna take endurance. Take endurance. I don't like that two worms are in the yard, but I also have two spikes in the yard, and I'm a little worried about my ability to um hard. All right, so we are in the reanimation spell waiting room with the ability to soul spike around if we need to. They're flashing back Strike it, Rich. They're in a business spell waiting room. So there is no woodland in the yard. There's no Gorios. There's footsteps in the wood. Practice food, gain some life. I only have. 10 minutes, a little over 10 minutes left, so we do need to play quick. We did lose a good chunk of time. Oh my god, what is this Gristle Brands? All right, we're, uh, we're passing again. When it gets to surveil again. I mean, endurance is a good one to have. So if they get us, it would probably be on the back of passive flames. Well, it could also be on the back of Rao, and again, Soul Spike. Or Reckless Impulse, Rocket Awakening, and Wish. Both of those are not bad. They Wish. I don't really know what they would be playing as far as hate. A pile of mana. Heretic Ritual, alright. We're going to... Oh, okay, Valakid Awakening. Dump the Abrade. They didn't dump the Abrade? Ruby. Okay. What are they... Desperate. Okay, they did... Where did the Abrade go? Oh, they put it on the bottom. Never mind. Okay. And they're going for a desperate. Yes. For a wish. And they can wish, and then they can piff, but then we have endurance. We can wish and put an empty. No line. In which case, we just have to hit on the animation spell. They know we have endurance because we got it off the rumble. Unless they just like weren't reading and drop, maybe. What are they casting? We just clock them with the endurance. Be a cool one. Okay, they're going for empty. So I'm going to just quickly discard a Grizzle Brand here, make a food, crack the food, and pass the rest of the turn. What our turn? Pick up a Nourishing Shield. That's terrible. Alright, I guess we're passing the turn. We have one card. It's a land. Is there any benefit to keeping this Eldrazi spawn? I don't think so. We're at nine. Have to be business here. 
I could dump. I guess how many is this? This is 10, 11, 12, 13. I could dump a grizzle brand and crack. Crack the clue. Crack the food. Another 12. In theory, we could maybe live. Up from 11. Okay, so we're gonna go green, black. This will leave us with the ability to get a black. Find a shifting woodland. Play the shifting woodland. And going to pass. Yeah, so they have 14. If I discard a card and clue it. Up to 15, I go down to 1. Next turn, I get to attack with the Grizzle Brand, draw 7. Uh, it's going to be discard Soul Spike. So 15, this is 14. I'll take it, go down to 1. I need to keep the Eldrazi spawn because I need to. I need to keep the Eldrazi spawn because I need to. Okay, and then what they hit? Ritual, ritual. All right, good. Because I need to be able to attack with the Grizzle Brand off the shifting. Questing, and then they're going to play another ritual, I guess. Bump it. All right, so we get a, sh a chance. We have a chance. Turn eight in the Storm versus Grizzlebrand matchup. Buried alive, not what we need at all. All right, so we're gonna copy a Grizzlebrand. Aim one, two, three, four. Axe. Yeah, we have one, two, three soul spikes in the yard. We will need to. Loop our way back with endurance. Shoal a worm. Soul spike them in the face, getting rid of some buried alives. Draw some more cards. Shoal a worm. Draw some more cards. Draw some more cards. Presumably we, okay, we do not have another worm to shoal. An endurance. Looking with shifting. Reshuffle. Draw. Get a worm, perfect. Draw. Soul spike, yep, perfect. We get there. All right, so we've got just under seven minutes for game three. So what do I want here for game three? Thought seizes are good. I could be more into like a haywire mite or two. I think I do want the extra endurance. What don't I want as much of? Maybe we trim a Buried Alive or two. We try and play a little bit more controlling. Could cut another land on the draw. Maybe a Saga. Might want the Turn Timber. Oh, no. Bring the Basaju in as like hate, but also. I could bring the Basaju in. Well, I want to be rumbling on two. No, bring a haywire in. I'll bring the rumble back in. Maybe I do want the rumble back in, or maybe I want the. I could bring the Nile spell bomb in. Or is it another haywire? We're playing Artist's Talent. Okay, I'll bring in another Haywire. They do have the Abrades, but... 
Okay, how's this look? We have Shifting Woodland, that's good. Um, I'm gonna keep, we have Endurance, we have Shifting Woodland, we have Buried Alive. Our lands are a little bit awkward, but hopefully we can play a little bit of a control game in the meantime. And hopefully they don't kill us in turn two. Although again, with Endurance, we have chances to live through something like that. All right, uh, so I'm gonna play a Shifting Woodland Tapped, S. They play a hate if they play a what's it called a um ruby then I will besage you hate water the ruby if they don't I will probably just more one I find out black land probably play a ruby so we besage you play haywire blow up the ruby. They have a Rao or another Ruby. Okay, another Ruby. We have a Gristle Brand, which is not really what we need. We do have another Haywire. We have Verdant. I'm going to get a Verdant here, I think. I can't play the Haywire. This means that I can Shifting next turn. So if I get the Verdant, there's a Gristle Brand in the yard. And I can shifting next turn in a way that lets me attack, and I have an endurance to try to live this turn, so I feel okay with this. Friends resolve. Growl could be a problem. They can definitely win without the yard. Keep the beast, okay. Two more rubies. That's kind of a whiff, honestly. Honestly, everything they hit so far is kind of a whiff. Play the Rowl, but I don't think they can continue from here, yeah. Get Mortuary. We'll graveyard that. Hit. Play our turn. We can play a Verdant. I shouldn't have done that. It's too late now. I'm gonna get a forest. And then we're going to Shifting Woodlands Gristle Brand. Playing one, two, three, four. Combat. Back to 27. Soul Spike them. Gristle Brand buried alive. All more, all more, all worm, spike them again, I scoop it up. All right, so we get there over Ruby Storm, kind of a tense match. We spent a lot of time, but I mean, both of us had our decks not really working in game two there. Game three, we had the endurance, so I think you know we had a decent chance at stopping them, even if they did hit a little bit better off of their business spells. But uh, yeah, so on to round number three, two and zero so far. Okay, we are on the play. Our hand here has a Grizzle Brand that can be discarded via this cookbook and a Shifting Woodland, so I'm pretty into this. Opponent has revealed a Gigantha. Fetch for an overgrown tomb here, I think. Alternately, I could go just for a forest. Yeah, maybe I will just go for a forest. Then turn two, we have Shifting Woodland Rumble. And then turn three, we have our reanimation. Guide of Souls is no big deal. So looking like we are against energy. And one place this gets a little bit rough is if they, well, they're not going to have a Blood Moon in time. All right, so I'm going to grab an Overgrown Tune. Spin some kind of useless cards. It could kill our Eldrazi spawn, which would not be great. We still do have it on turn four then, though. So as long as we don't get Blood Mooned on three, we'd be okay.
hopefully they just like play in a Johnny or an Amtraptor or something and then Ocelot and whatever. Amtraptor, okay, so as long as it doesn't hit something bad, we're okay. Let's see what it hit. Oh, it didn't resolve yet. Never mind. They revealed a galvanic discharge. That's bad. That is what we would call, in fact, bad. We get to pump up their guide. We're going to take another hit. Now we need to start getting slightly worried about life total. I mean, I do get to make a food here and gain some life. So I'm going to play Tapped Overgrown Tomb. We're going to take probably 7 to 9. We'll gain 3 up to 19. We get 12. We're going to need to hit well off of this draw. That Galvin Discharge was very unfortunate. It's going to be the difference between one and two Gristlebrand activations. Here we'll discard Salvage. Discard. We'll discard the Gristlebrand. The food. Back to food. Our turn. We have another shifting woodland, so we have sorcery, instant, land, and creature. Play the shifting, and I think we just have to go for it here. What are our options if we wait? Not that good. I think we just go for it here. what exactly they're holding up. We do hit Shoal, we hit Soul Spike as well. Soul Spike is very good here. I'm going to spike them getting rid of Gristlebrand and a Grizzly Salvage. We can draw seven again. They have like Bolt Bolt or something. That's fine. We can shoal an endurance if we have to. That is pretty rough. We do hit a worm, but we don't hit a shoal. And we're dead. Alright, I mean that was that was bad. The bolt bolt got us. If it was only one bolt, then we would have had Shoal Worm, but it, it doesn't work as is. I mean, waiting there doesn't really do anything for us. I mean maybe it lets us attack with the Crystal Brand, but we're just at a much lower life total. So I don't think that that is good. Yeah, I mean we got nothing there. That's a little bit unfortunate to lose that one. And then the Raptor hitting the Galvanic Discharge to stop the turn 3 was also a little bit rough, but sometimes that happens, you know, that's how it goes. Um, okay, so against potential Blood Moon or onboard Hate Permanence, I want basically all of my Artifact and Enchantment Destruction. Zern Orb I don't need. Split Steps for a little bit of speed I will take. What don't I need? I can cut maybe the Turn Timber. I can probably cut, like... Well, no, I don't want to cut Buried Alive, especially on the play. I might cut one Rumble, one Saga, maybe one Buried Alive. Go like this. Alright, so uh, we claw our way back against Boros. Double bolt. They don't even. I don't even think they play the full four bolt. I mean, maybe some lists are now. This hand looks pretty good. I'm gonna keep. I turn one mortuary. Turn two woodland sprawl the mortuary rumble. 
something like that. Might. I'm going to top that. I expect them to have some sort of hate, especially if they kept a 7. And I assume we'll need to blow it up. Guy of Souls, sure. Yeah, so if I Woodland, Sprawl the Mortuary, Aim, Black, and then we can go for a Rumble, and take a Swamp. Also take Cookbook. I don't really feel like we need Cookbook. And then I'm just going to pass. And now we don't have Grizzlebrand, so that's a little bit... Maybe I should have taken Cookbook, because in case we draw Grizzlebrand. So now we're a little bit reliant on drawing another one of our milling cards. Guide, sure. Of aggro start. Slot Pride, okay, so they're going to gain a million energy in life. One, two, three, four. If we get a Buried Alive, that would also work next turn. Can't pump, oh no, yeah, they can't pump this yet. They only have two energy. They will gain life, make a cat. Burnant is not what we need. I'm going to play Saga. Play Haywire. We're just, uh, we're in the, in the waiting room. We're going to take a big chunk here, and so probably it would have to be next turn. But we draw something relevant. We have to pump something, probably the cat token, or the Ocelot Pride. I saw pride more life like sure. One salvage in the yard as well. Not gonna block. Here I can always block next turn if I need to. And I don't want to land a plug. Discharging the haywire, sure that's fine. Now they can't play like a blood. They they have it. So we get another draw step. Deafening silence. Oh, excuse me. With that. Now we're probably dead. Deafening silence, really. Hateful. Very hateful. Shifting board. Alright. Um, not looking great for the home team here. And by not looking great, I mean we're super dead. Like another woodland, we can crack, or we can search with the saga. Are we getting, well, maybe we're not immediately dead. All right, we can give it one more turn. So a couple different options. One is I can woodland copy haywire. Do I have enough mana for that? So one, also think about making it a saga token. So one, two, three, four, five. I could copy haywire and then crack it on the silence. So one, and so interesting that they're not attacking with that guide. Oh, so the saga's a 1-1. One, one. Right, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it puts us to seven. If I get a Grizzlebrand into the yard, I have a Gorios for it. So I don't necessarily... Well, does the life matter? Actually, I think it may. And the next turn, I'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, and then a seventh mana that I play. Okay, yeah, so I think I'm going to make the construct. Oh, we'll let that happen, and then after that happens, we will construct. Go we'll get another haywire with our saga.
See, now we're at 8, so we could be at 15 after an attack, which might be 2 draws. Would be relevant. Amp Raptor. So we will uh, hope that they hit a non-creature. Oh no, but they already... No, they didn't cast a non-creature yet. Never mind. I think Silence is so good. Did another Amp Raptor. Alright. And that was kind of happening no matter what. So we're dead next turn. So we do get one more turn here. We're going to get a million more cats. They get City's Blessing. They have so much life. Um, yeah, what do we draw? Worm. Worm is not it. Get the haywire. Off the deafening silence. Play a land, but then we have nothing to worry us back. We needed to hit, you know, something that did something. Alright, a little bit of a rough time. We're two and one. Let's go to the next round. Round four, we are on the play. Or no, we're on the draw. We do have the ability to saga a cookbook to get our grizzle brand which i like we could also buried alive we have shifting woodland i'm going to keep this it's a little bit slow it's possible i do something like soul spike a creature and buy a turn maybe though probably this is going to be turn one surveil land turn two saga if i draw like a gorio's turn one saga is obviously amazing but it's a little bit of a risk opponent has mulligan to four and then played a verdant are they the mirror? Maybe they are. Springleaf drum. What? Okay. Shifting. I'm gonna go for a verdant pass, I think. Go for surveil. Hopefully that their hand is just like non-functional being a mold of four. Springleaf and misty. I'm not sure what they're playing. Shoal? We'll need that. Need a way to get Gristle Brand into play first. Turn Timber. Not great. Play the Saga. We have to. We can start hitting, or we can Soul Spike something, and then we can try to be on the Saga beatdown plan. If I Also, I could potentially, if I'm doing that, get a Haywire might blow up their Spring Leaf and maybe get their mana. That's relevant somehow. Would this be the omniscience deck, but why Springleaf Drum? And the new cards aren't out yet, right? I don't think they are. Seems like it would be a version of the omniscience deck after. Okay, they have a Tarmogoyf and a Springleaf Drum. What is happening? And they're thought seizing us? I mean, I'm just going to Soul Spike this Tarmogoyf. I can take my turn Timber Symbiosis, and then I'm going to start to make some Urza Saga Constructs. I'm going to hope that we just kind of kill them with Constructs. Humble's not bad, but... Not really what we have time for slash want to do now. I think we just want to make the constructs. We'll go get Haywire and eat the spring leaf. Two cards in hand. Do they have removal? Maybe it's removal. Make another construct. We get cookbook and reanimate worm. Hmm. If I do that, then this turn I play Saga. I can be able to do that for a couple things. I just like getting Haywire might better. But the next one I'll get cookbook if I feel like I need to.
seeing like Saltai mid range with Spring Leaf Drum. On our door. Construct drinks. Oh, it's no, but the new dust one thing, the the tap for the permanent to play is not out yet. I, why is why does that spring leaf drum matter so much? They have their own haywire fight. They could eat our saga, I guess. Right. Okay. Just have two two twos. Also have shifting woodland, and if we hit a grizzle brand, we can do something with that. Draw another song. I'm going to play the rumble. Two. Sending the worms to the yard, potentially. Next turn, I could. Um, shifting wood with the worm and then keep them with it. I have this spawn now. Like shifting other goyf. Okay. Wait, I clicked through my okay, right? It's not what I wanted to do. Play tapped overgrown tune, and I guess just pass and make another thing. Alright, well, now we should just have them dead. Well, it's not no matter what, right? Because this is nine. Oh no, but I can get a. I can get a coke. Okay, so here, if I float mana. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna shift it. So I'm not gonna make another construct, but I will get a cookbook. So, scroll, sorry. Also, send that. that. Some green. Sack that. Shifting copy of worm. Play a new shifting. Go to combat. And they scoop it up. So we beat some sort of range with Spring Relief Drum. Maybe it's um it's probably a saga deck with might and drum. So I want my haywire mites. I don't necessarily need Zurin Orb. Isle spell bomb could be interesting against Goyfs. I don't think I need Thought Seize. I will take Footsteps. Probably try to land here. Probably run the Seiju over a Saga, which is going to get eaten. So maybe we just want to overload their ability to eat things. Get rid of a fetch. Get rid of like one Burial. Well, Burial Live is probably better in the discard matchup because it's just guaranteed. Get rid of like a sprawl or two, and you know, it's... um, we don't have any way to get a gross brand into the yard. We do have a spell bomb. We have multiple reanimates. It's mulliganing. I'm gonna keep, I'm not super thrilled about this, but I think we're leaning on this surveil and we have a saga as a backup plan and we can kind of shut down some of their aggression maybe with the spell bomb. So I'll try it. We're also somewhat resilient to Thoughtseize. 
Okay, Haywire is not bad. So again, we're just gonna go for the Serval though. And then turn two, probably we develop the Sprawl. We have a Tribal over there. Keep something on top. Step. They have a Saga that we're going to be able to eat. Oh, well, they're going to maybe take our Haywire Might. Got a Lava Spur. Alright, so they have the potential of winning the Saga War. So our Sagas are not going to be so good. Shifting. Ever. Sprawl on the Jewelry. Black. Play. Oh, I don't need to play the Nile yet. I'm going to just pass. Uh, maybe I could have played the Nile, because then I can like cycle it next turn if I need to. It does just open it up to removal, which I don't love the idea of. We're going to get hit for a lot here. So I'm going to play Shifting. Play the Nile off Shifting. But... I do not like our position with this lava spur and then a, a um and a uh, construct construct. So we can make black black and salvage. So I guess it'll be three, two, three, four. We take like nine, is it? It's nine. They make another one, so then they're three threes. The artifact they get makes them four fours. Whipping makes one a five. They get a got like a cookbook or something that makes two artifacts. Then we take eleven. So we may have a land, obviously, but I would expect them to. Nile spell bomb. So they're hitting our graveyard. Aft land, so they only get to hit us for four. That's better. So I am going to make two black, make the green, and grizzly salvage. Don't hit a grizzle brand. Take a Busage. Nuke their yard to draw the card. Very alive. So the problem is here, I guess I can besage you with spell bomb. It would nuke my yard. So if I besage you with spell bomb, I nuke my yard, I buried alive. Yeah, I mean there's a chance. We're probably not going to win this, but try. Buried. Yeah, because if they play another creature at Quip, we're, we're just toast. So we can go Grizzle, Haywire, and Grizzle, I guess. That's Artifact, Creature, Sorcery, and then this Burden could be Land. 
Zooming. Yeah, I still have my basics, so it'll only be one life for me. The equip and hit is just seven. But it's another creature. Our toast. Okay, they're just equipping. So we have a chance. So we have the mana to hit with shifting. A little bit. Oh, we drew the swamp. That was actually really good. So this means. Oh no, that was terrible. Well, I guess it doesn't matter either way. I'd have to. Now I have to footsteps. That was. I was thinking I saved the life point and then I'm at 15 instead of 14, but obviously this is footsteps and not glorious vengeance. So it is not. Um, it doesn't have haste. Draw seven. Masters kills us. Oh, bow masters. We could Glorios or Grizzlebrand now. Okay, I mean, that's certainly a line. Glorios, this Grizzlebrand. To draw seven, or to gain seven life and draw seven. A lot that could mess us up here. Hasty Crystal Brian. Just basically playing as though they have nothing, because if they had something, they're dead. So. Alright, we picked up Shoal. We have Spike. So I can get rid of a Buried Alive and a Grizzly Salvage. Shoal away the Endurance to go back to 8. Draw another 7. Shoal away another endurance to four. But we actually win. Soul spike. How many soul spikes? Two soul spikes are gone. So there's two soul spikes in the bottom. And all four worms are in the bottom. Yeah, I mean, we can exile a total of five mana worth of stuff. But we, we don't quite get there. I mean, I, I guess I can... Okay, I can play a Haywire Might, and then I can shoal some stuff. Find a memory. Oh, pitch. Endurance. Maybe live? Oh, but they can haste the no another construct. Make another construct and then haste it. Don't live anyway, they have seven seven damage. Alright, well, scoop it up. Match is tied one to one. We had the um No, even if we had the even if we had the Haywire to block there, we were exactly dead. Okay, so it is worth noting that they have consigned. So I think I want at least a couple packs. I'm willing to cut a sprawl on the play. I'm, I think I'm willing to cut sprawls completely on the play. It is good for like a turn two buried. Okay, no, I, I will keep maybe two, one. How how likely are they to really have? Yeah, I mean, consign. We'll counter endurance, but if I have my whole deck in my hand, I don't think I'm that concerned about it. We cut the Nile on the play, go like this. Okay, so we've got a Pact, we've got a Gristle Brand, Worm is useless, Awars, kind of whatever. I'm gonna, mm, this is not that great. 
leaning heavily on this rumble. Worm is basically not a card. I'm going to mulligan this, actually. Grizzlebrand is not really a card there either. So here, I have the interesting option of keeping to draw up. I, uh, okay, I am going to keep this. I'm going to bin a... Bin a Grizzlebrand. And I'm going to play Saga, and I'm going to hope I draw a black source within the next few turns. So then I can Gorios and like get Cookbook, discard the Grizzle, and Gorios. That Haywire Might, we are probably losing. Oh, they just have Pick Your Poison. Now we're probably losing. Draw up to seven, or draw up to eight, I mean. Actually, we're going to have to. He needs to draw some lands, though. So, e but even if I draw a land next turn, I won't play it. But they're going to get, they're going to get Nile Spell while we're done. It's, 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 it's over. We're going to have drawn the land anyway. Good times. In the mall here, I think I should have maybe not put back the Gristle Brand, but yeah, now they're gonna get Spell Bomb and we are done. I guess I can like soul spike a construct. That's the thing we can do. Get rid of like a Gorios and a Buried Alive. Oh, whoops. I, yeah, I mean, whatever. It's not gonna. It's not gonna work. I meant to use it, not discard it. But it's just a nice click. But, uh, yeah, I mean, even if we spike that, we have a Gorios, but, like, okay, Psychic Frog, yeah. We, the Saga. Take, uh, what is it? Six? We're actually just dead. Oh, we'll actually do it. So round five on the draw, we have an unkeepable seven here. We're gonna mulligan that. We don't have a green source. This is a lot better. We have salvage buried alive and then a Gorios to bring our gristle brand back. I'm going to get rid of the soul spike, I think. The one actual problem with this though, is that we don't necessarily have a black source, but on the draw, um, I think we stand a decent chance at finding one, so. You know, we can still play a couple lands in the meantime. So I think it is just it is just definitely a keep. Basically, you know, basically we're just missing a black source to be in pretty good shape overall. Opponent leads on breeding pool. Someone safekeeper. Okay, so uh it's Nadu, clearly. Um and I don't know, I mean what plays Nadu type cards after being uh I guess it could be like some sort of uh like food combo or witch blessed meadow shadow spear the brews are really out in force today 
We draw a grizzle brand. I think I'm actually going to pass. Go up to eight. Discard. And then hopefully in the next two draws, we draw a black source. They have a shifting woodland. They have a knight of the reliquary. Okay. They get to hit us with the safekeeper if they want. We're going to pass and discard the grizzle brand. So now we just need a black source. They, oh, they have Nightfall. All right. So this is plus one, plus one for each card in their deck, but we do have Shoal Worm in hand. So if we let them, I mean, it's going to be an interesting question to see how many lands they have. So they need to get to 35, and I don't know that they're going to have 35 lands in their deck. Although, dual face cards, maybe they, they do. Also going to get a bunch of mana so they can equip a Shadow Spear. I think they're making more mana. One card in hand only, so... I mean, yes, they get to equip their Shadow Spear, but what else are they going to do with the mana? I mean, maybe they can... Ballista or something. But I'll come back in a second when, uh, when a little bit more of this is done. And uh, give you the update, because I don't want to make you guys sit here through uh, a whole bunch of this. Okay, so our opponent is attacking us for 20. However, we have Shoal Pitch Worm. So we're going to, uh, we're going to Shoal. And we're going to see if they have more follow-up. Can you do another 15 opponent? No, they cannot. So we get the chance to win. But we didn't draw a black source. All right, well, then we lose. But we had a shot. So uh, opponent gets game number one on Nightfall. They have a very weird mix of lands. I think I'm interested in Haywire Mites, not interested in Zurin. Spellbomb could be interesting, but on the play, I think I just want to race. I'll cut the turn timber. Bring in a couple packed for potential interaction they might have. Trim like a buried alive, a sprawl on the play. Maybe one rumble. One more sprawl. Go like that. Yeah, I think it's reasonably likely that they have some sort of interaction that would, you know, kill a Gristle Brand or whatever that I might want to pact for. They could have counter magic. Not super expecting that. I do expect Besage you, but. Um, okay, we'll keep this. So we have turn one, Sprawl, turn two, Saga, Rumble, or turn two, Buried Alive. Probably turn two, Buried Alive. All right. So I'm going to get a basic forest. Put the Sprawl on there, name black. And then yeah, turn two, we could Saga Buried Alive. And then turn three, and then decide what we're doing with Rumble. Endurance is interesting. So I'm gonna put a Grizzle Brand, Grizzle Brand, Haywire Might, I think. Actually, no, I think it's just gonna be one Grizzle Brand and then Haywire Might. Haywire Might, so I have sorcery, land, creature, um, artifact. 
for delirium but then one grizzle brand in case they have like a bajuga bog or something like that i can recover faster probably by being more likely to hit another grizzle brand they have soul guide lantern okay question is going to be then do they use it okay they they take out the single card that would have been a reason to play or to put a second grizzle brand in So our Saga ticks up, we can make a Construct. If we play another Saga now, then next turn we make another Construct. We get a... Hey, where am I? I think I'm getting the... I'm going to play the Verdant now and then just make the Construct. We're kind of on the Saga plan here. Low Endurance is kind of... Well, no, Endurance actually doesn't really do anything against them because they can just keep comboing, assuming that they have the ability to fetch out a land. They have another Noble. They have a Saga of their own. So on end step, I'm going to fetch first. We'll get a Mortuary. And I'll leave that on top. And then I'll make a Saga token. So here, I mean, I could play Woodland, but if I play Woodland, one, two, no, I'm going to make the Construct and I'm going to get a Haywire Might, presumably to blow up this, this Soul Guide. Then I can play Saga. And then next turn, one, two, three, four, five, six, I can rumble plus copy with shifting if I need to. Hopefully finding a gristle brand off this rumble means that uh means that we can put a gristle brand in next turn. So this does let them make a construct with Saga, but we will just have more constructs. We could also blow up the Saga if we needed to. It does represent another piece of graveyard hate, so there's, there's maybe some chance that I actually should blow up the Saga. Yeah, maybe I should have blown up the Saga there. Although, as it is, I'm kind of pressuring or holding back a retreat to Coral Helm, which is maybe nice. So maybe I can just let them get more Grave Hate and just not commit the Rumble yet. They're deciding what to do. Five cards in hand. Playing something. Playing a knight, okay. I mean, that's fine. It's a jeery step. Sure. So I have to think, do I want to blow the saga? Do I want to blow the soul guide? Do I want to hold it back for a coral helm? If I blow the Saga and I hit, then I win. But if I blow the Saga and then I miss, I lose. Probably. Hmm. Alternately, I could wait. Do I think I'm realistically going to win with this Construct plan, though, with the Knight in play? Probably not. This does mean that there's one turn of being shields down. I 
I could... Okay, so if I pass till next turn... One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I don't have enough to crack it then. I guess I could Saga pop the Soul Guide. Um... No, it has to be sacrificed. I was thinking, could I then shifting the haywire and pop it? But no. There's three Gristle Brands in my deck. I think it's not likely to. Yeah, I think it's not likely to kill the. Or I think I'm not likely enough to hit the Gristle Brand. I'm gonna not pop the haywire. I'm gonna draw a shifting. So that happens. Play a shifting. I could rumble here. And if I do rumble, I mean, my yard is potentially a little bit susceptible. But what is my plan of winning if I don't rumble? All right, so step one is I need to attack with both of the constructs. One, two, three, four, five. They're at nine. I think I'm just going to pass. Hold up construct plus um, using haywire might. They don't have any fetches in play, so they can't, like, double start the Nightfall combo. This could get, like, a Pithing Needle or something. That would be kind of bad. I get Shadow Spear. That's not that scary. Knight is just sort of naturally growing here. Element permanent. So they could still play the Okay, so I think I I think I crack the the haywire here cuz they will use it. So I'm going to crack it eating the soul guide. I mean, they could still have Coral Home here, but I don't really have any other option because then they can just turn off my Haywire. It's non-land, so I don't need to worry about using the Saga right away. Activated abilities, that doesn't, that's a triggered ability. And the question is, do they have Coral Helm? They do not, it looks like. So I can make another construct. Go to our turn, or my turn. Draw. Shoal is something. So we'll make another construct. And I'm going to get a. Okay, do I get a Haywire Might or do I get a Cookbook? So. Haywire makes three five fives. They have to block at least one with the Noble. I'm going to get a Haywire. I can play a Shifting Woodland. I can Rumble if I want to. I think I do want to Rumble, yes. And I get a Worm. Alright, so I have Endurance plus Shoal Worm up. Back with all three of these.
And I mean, I can, I mean, they, again, yeah, they have, so they have to chump with Noble and I guess the scheming fence. Not that that really matters. And then I can pop, I could pop the spring heart. Or I could pop the shadow spear. I'm just going to hold the haywire back and see what I feel like I need to do with it. Not sure what they're doing with one green. Oh, they're going to search a land. I could pop the spring heart. I don't think I want to give them a copy of Knight of the Reliquary. They didn't have the cor the Coral Helm last turn, so I'm willing to risk it this turn. They get Yavimaya. They take four down to five. Their fetch lands are going to be in a weaker spot. I mean... Yeah, they 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 could have they could have the combo, but we also have a worm again, which is pretty strong. We also have endurance, but endurance I think is not going to be as good here. They have another spring heart. They have a land, and they could play pay one more to make a copy. Probably what they, well, even if they buff up their knight with Shadow Spirits, it's still not exactly decisive. I can also shifting the Haywire Might and then pop the Shadow Spear. And that might, oh, they just didn't pay. Huh. Surprised they're not equipping. Okay, so now they're equipping. Okay, all right. So I'm probably gonna blow that up, but let's see. Yeah, so I, I can play a Swamp. We copy the Haywire Might. One, two, three, four. make a green with this pop the shadow spear go to combat and they should be dead pile of construct tokens Block one of them, block another, but then they take uh, take eight. All right, weird game. What are they doing here? They're going to get another land. What land could they get that matters? If they're like a county garden, they're too late on it. That What does that do? That doesn't do it. Oh, I know, but it's still too late. You can't block with it because we're already in blockers. It also, um, perhaps endurance, if they had some way of killing things, but they don't. I could endurance and then get their knight killed, which would be good. All right, so game three here. On the draw, I am, again, more interested in Utopia Sprawl. I can go down to maybe one Pact. Nile Spellbomb, Vexing Bauble... I mean, Nile Spellbomb could be okay. Don't want Vexing. Footsteps is reanimation, but it is maybe a little bit slow. I mean, I still do want two packed. Maybe I just cut one more land on the draw. Cut like a Verdant. Go like this. Oh, wait, that's 61 cards. Um, Well, too late. We're playing 61 cards.
So we have, okay, so on the draw, I like just passing and going to discard. And then, or I could saga turn one. Okay, I'm actually gonna saga, no. I'm either going to pass and go to discard or saga turn one, depending on what they do. I'm not sure yet. I like passing to discard, but let's see. Play a Misty. By Saga turn one, they blow it out by Saga again. To turn three, either way, this has higher upside if, um, if things go like a little bit wrong, because then I can redump the other Grizzle Brand. Given the fact that they have Grave Hate, I think I'm interested in that. Like, so Cookbook basically is, is valuable enough to have in play that I'm willing to risk the Saga getting Haywire Mited here. Shadow Spear, not something I'm super concerned about. So Saga ticks up. Can play a Verdant. I'm gonna fetch an Overgrown Tomb, shocking. And then I'll sprawl on my Tomb, name Black. All right, so we're set up to go next turn. In fact, we're set up to double Gorios next turn if they have some sort of removal. So that's a pretty strong position to be in. They could certainly have some sort of hate that they, you know, come down with. And the biggest thing to be concerned about would be Haywire Might or something that kills Saga. Pick Your Poison isn't going to do it because I have Sprawl that I can sacrifice, but okay, they put Knight down. We'll go to our turn. A float of mana. Bring in a cookbook. Play a Saga. And now I get to make double black. And if they have a response to the first Grizzlebrand coming back. I can Gorios it again. All right, so we go to combat. Um, okay, so I could actually pop the food here. So the one color or the one mana from Saga isn't going to do anything for me. All right, so second main, we're going to try and win the game. We have Shoal Worm, so that's, that's powerful. We have Soul Spike now. Get rid of some Grizzly Salvages. Got another Shoal Worm. Draw some more. Can Soul Spike again, Buried Alive and Grizzly Salvage. And then we can Soul Spike again, Buried Alive, Grizzle Brand. And that's that. So we get a match over Nightfall. We end up three and two. So let's, uh, let's talk about the deck. All right, so here's the list. Well, it's what I wanted to play of the list. The Ulamog didn't end up um, being in the deck uh i mean again i made that as a last minute change but i think it is something that is pretty interesting as like an additional buried alive target to stick into the yard and you know also you can like shoal pitch worm and then it has annihilator 15 so that's pretty cool um the deck felt pretty good it did feel like there were less surgicals going around i mean we did beat murktide pretty convincingly in the first round and i i do think this deck has a lot of game against control decks because you can a play at instant speed and b um potentially win without even ever playing a spell uh or at least get a gristle brand into play without playing a spell and then try to win from there using shifting woodland or um urza saga we also can put on pressure with urza saga force our opponent to do something and then try to win with our combo in the meantime we had some rough hands against um, energy, and so didn't quite get that one. And then we kept a 
hand that had a lot of potential, but definitely a bit of risk against the Sultai deck and uh, got punished for that. So I don't feel too bad about that. Um, now, the, the, the big thing I was talking about before was Demonic Council. So this is the card coming out in Duskmoon that I think will be a, a big difference maker for this deck. And um, again, either searching a Grizzlebrand or searching a Gorio's Vengeance, we can pretty reliably get Delirium, but I think this will require a reworking of the deck. And my initial guess is that it probably involves cutting Buried Alive, potentially even cutting like Grizzly Salvage, playing more discard, I think leaning heavier on like multiple cookbooks, and then probably main deck Thoughtseize. Honestly, maybe even going like Sultai with Frog and um, and going from there. So I think Sprawl might still have a place. Rumble is still kind of interesting for getting Delirium. We could, if we can't reliably enough get Delirium, could think about playing things like Bauble or Street Wraith or whatever. There are there are tools to get Delirium. So um, so those are some of the options. But I think I think the deck will go in a potentially interesting and slightly different direction after that, and I, I think it improves consistency as well as compacts down some of the reanimate reanimation package and allows us to play more interaction. So I think the deck should overall get stronger with demonic consultation. Con no demonic. What is it? What is it called? Demonic council. Consultation is I know the um the anti card. All right. Uh, until next time, keep uh, keep winning with uh, with Grizzlebrand at instant speed in the face of a million Bowmasters triggers, and um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you next time.